Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a top-down shooter game. So far, we have finished the player character that moves and shoots. And zombies that chase the player. In this episode we add the killing. Let's continue coding. We upgrade the input manager to detect a held mouse button. And a right click. Next we give zombies one hit point. And a method to damage them. We add a method to destroy a projectile too. Let's use these tools now. We modify the projectile manager's update method. It will get the zombies as input. Each bullet goes through the list of zombies. If the zombie has no hit points, it continues to the next one. When the zombie is close enough to the bullet, it gets hit. The zombie takes damage, and the bullet gets destroyed. Inside the zombie manager, we remove all zombies with no hit points left. Now we only have to pass the zombies list to the update. And we are ready for the first test. The bullets are doing their job. Perfect. But clicking for each shot is tiring. It would be better to hold the button to keep firing. Let's make a quick update to the player's code and change the input. Well, this looks like a lot of fun. We are firing a new bullet with each frame. But let's be fair, this is way too easy. We need to set some reasonable rate of fire. Back in the player class, we had a firing cooldown. Let's try a quarter of a second, that's 4 bullets per second. The fire method will return when there is any cooldown time left. Otherwise the update will reduce the cooldown. Okay, let's give it a go. That's more fair. Good. Next we add an ammo capacity and a need to reload. The player will have maximum ammo and reload time. We initialize the values. And add a method for reloading. If the player isn't already reloading, it starts the reload cooldown and refills the ammo. Then we adjust the fire method. We can't fire when reloading. First we reduce the ammo count. If there is any ammo left, we set the firing cooldown. Otherwise, we initiate the reload. When the cooldown finishes, we disable the reloading flag. And lastly, the player can force a reload with a right click. Let's take a look. The player can fire 30 bullets and then must wait 2 seconds to reload. It would be helpful to see how many bullets are left. Let's make a simple user interface. The UI manager has a bullet texture and a draw method with the player's data. First it sets the color depending on the reloading flag. For every bullet left, it calculates a position on the screen. Then draws that bullet as semi-transparent and double-sized. We refactor the projectile manager to receive the bullet texture. In the game manager, we load the texture and hand it to both managers. Don't forget to call the UI draw method. And we are ready for the final test. We can see the remaining bullets in the top left corner. Once empty, the UI turns red, indicating the reload cooldown. Right click also starts the reloading. Perfect. Let me know how you liked this episode. You can find the code in the description. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. We will continue working on this project in the future, don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.